In this question, we're provided with a description of a reaction, and our goal is to add state symbols to the equation that describes the reaction. So we have four states we might show in our equation. The first is solid, which has the symbol S in brackets. The second is liquid, which has the symbol L in brackets. Then we have gas, which has the symbol G in brackets. Those are all fairly self-explanatory. The last one is aqueous, which has the symbol AQ. And that one means dissolved in water to form a solution. So let's read through our description and figure out what our state symbols are for each of these. So first we were told we have a piece of solid potassium. So we know our state symbol for potassium is going to be S. We're told it's placed in a beaker of water. Now we know that water is a liquid because water is the common name for liquid H2O. Otherwise, they would have said ice or water vapor. So we know we've got a liquid there, L. We're told it produces a solution of potassium hydroxide. A solution tells us it's dissolved in water. So we know the potassium hydroxide is going to be AQ, aqueous. That means dissolved in water. And finally, we're told that we get bubbles of hydrogen gas. So we know we end up with hydrogen gas, which is going to have the symbol G. So we can go ahead and add those state symbols on our equation. So K is potassium, and that's a solid. H2O is water, and that's a liquid. KOH, that's potassium hydroxide. That's dissolved in water as a solution, so that's aqueous, AQ. And hydrogen, that's our gas bubbles at the end, so that's gas.